Whose, whose house is this? Is this your house? Do you live in this house? Do you live here? No. No. This isn't your house. You don't live in this house. You don't live here. So whose house is it? This is Tim. Tim. And this is Tim's house. Tim lives in this house. He, he lives here. What, what is Tim's address? What's his address? Next to, next to Tim's house is a mailbox. This is an envelope. Inside, inside the envelope is a letter. Something written. A letter. You can open, open the envelope and take out take out the letter that's inside and letters letters and envelopes with letters inside them get put put into mailboxes a mailbox envelopes go in the mailbox written written on the front not on the back or on the side one of the sides on the front of the mailbox the address of Tim's house is written you can see the address. You can see Tim's address. This person is called Tim. His name, his name is Tim. My name is Finn. I'm called Finn. He is called Tim. This road or this street also has has a name this street this street this road is called rocky street rocky street so tim's address is rocky street but Tim's house isn't the only house on Rocky Street. There are other houses, other houses, and each of those houses also has a mailbox. And on, on each of those mailboxes, is an address. There's an address written on the mailboxes. The address is Rocky Street. Rocky Street. But these three houses, these three houses can't have the same address. Their address is different, so their address also has
has a number. One, two, three, a number. Tim's house is one Rocky Street. Number one Rocky Street is his address. This house is number three and this house is number five Rocky Street. One, three, five. When, when someone, someone wants, wants to send a letter to Tim, when someone wants to send a letter to Tim, they put the letter into an envelope and they write Tim's address on the envelope. They write one Rocky Street onto the envelope and send it to Tim, to his house, to his mailbox. Tim doesn't live in this house alone. There's more people living in this house. He doesn't live alone. Tim lives with, together, together with his parents, with his dad and his mum, his parents. Tim isn't a man, he's not a woman, he's not an adult, he's a kid, he's a child. Tim is a kid and he has to, has to go to school. School. The school has a different address than Tom's house. It, the school, it's on a different another street so it has a different address in in the school are classrooms this is a classroom the teacher at the front of the room the front not in the back at the front of the room, of the classroom, and the kids, the other kids like Tim, the other children, the other students at this school. Here, sitting, sitting like me, sitting on a chair at a desk, sitting at a desk, not standing at the front of the room, like the teacher, sitting at a desk, at one of the desks is Tim. Here's Tim. Also in Tim's class is Bill. Behind Tim, there's Bill. Bill is sitting behind Tim. Tim and Bill live in different houses. In different houses. They, the two of them, the two of them, they don't don't have the same address. They don't, they don't live in the same house. But 
Tim and Bill know they know each other's address. Tim knows Bill's address and Bill knows Tim's address. They can visit each other. Here's Bill's house on a different street than Tim's house, but Tim knows where, where Bill lives. Tim knows Bill's address. So Tim can go to Bill's house. He can visit Bill. And Bill can go to Tim's house because Bill knows Tim's address. Also, in their class, in Tim and Bill's class, is a girl. A girl, Tim and Bill are boys, but this is a girl. Her name is Sarah. Sarah. Tim and Bill both, both of them really like Sarah. Both of them like Sarah. They like her. But Sarah doesn't like both of them. She, she likes them as friends, as a friend, Tom and Bill like each other, they're friends, they like each other, and Sarah likes Tom and Bill as friends, but she doesn't like both of them. Sarah only likes, likes Tim. She likes Tim. She doesn't like Bill. But Bill likes Sarah. And Tim likes Sarah. Tim doesn't know Sarah's address. Tim doesn't know where, where Sarah lives, where her house is. He doesn't know. Bill doesn't know either. He also, he also doesn't know where Sarah lives. Neither of them know her address. But Sarah likes Tim. She doesn't like Bill. So Sarah tells, tells Tim her address. So Tim can visit Sarah. So Tim knows where she lives, knows where her house is. But of course, of course, she doesn't tell Bill. She doesn't tell Bill her address. Only, only Tim knows her address. So Tim can write, can write letters, love, love letters to Sarah.
he can put the love letters into envelopes and write write Sarah's Sarah's address on the envelope and send them send his letters to Sarah's house to her address mm. poor poor Bill poor Bill mm. poor Bill all right see ya